does money mindset really matter? So I've heard this brought up a lot lately. And the short answer is, to me, it does. (laughs) Changing the way that I thought about money and changing my relationship with money completely changed my life and completely changed my money. And it seems almost silly to me to ask this question, honestly. It would be like asking if how you think about your partner, your husband, your wife, your child, your friend matters. Of course it freaking matters. (laughs) It means everything to how you see them and how you feel about them and how you receive them, and how you interact with them. Or it would be like asking if how you think about God slash universe slash source matters. Of course it matters. It means everything to how you experience that relationship in your life. So the stories we tell ourselves are so, so powerful, period. The power of our stories continually blows my mind, just astonishes me, honestly. Our stories are everything when it comes to the way that we experience our lives and ourselves. Everything. I cannot overstate that. It's our entire lens which creates our entire feeling and state of being. So yes, to me, money mindset matters so much. It could literally be the difference between happiness and misery with something that is already a huge and major part of your life and daily life in this world. But here's the thing. Obviously, you do not have to have a better or good relationship with money to create and amass a lot of freaking money or to be successful with money. There are extremely wealthy and successful people who have totally fear-based stressed-based, lack-based relationships with money still, no matter how much of it they have. And also, you do not have to have a good relationship with money to find happiness or fulfillment in life or peace. People do that too in other ways without changing their relationship with money all the time. So money mindset to me is simply about how you choose to relate to money because you're already in a relationship with it if you live in this time and this world there's no doubt about that you're already in a relationship with it so money mindset is really actually just a process of choosing what kind of relationship is that going to be and cultivating it that relationship and the type of relationship is going to be different and have a different flavor for all kinds of different types of people just as our human relationships are different based on the types of people. But money mindset is that process of basically just deciding what kind of relationship you want, how you want to feel with money, and then actively cultivating that, just like you would in a human relationship. For some people, That will result in more money because it reveals more of what they truly want and that is part of their passion and their desires for their lifetime. For some people, that will result in just more peace with money and the amount they have and more gratitude for it and more ease and more freedom from worry around it. For some people, it will result in something totally different. And this will vary from person to person depending on who they are and what their core desires are for their life. For those that value like a quiet, simple pleasures kind of life, they will find peace with money and let money support that more easily. And for those that have big dreams for their own quality of life and big dreams and drive for making a bigger impact in this world through their work, they will create more money for both of those things more easily and with less resistance. I personally am an equal combination of those things. I love my sweet, simple, quiet life. And 
I have big dreams for myself and the difference that I want to make in people's lives for the better. And so my work on my money mindset has resulted in peace with the money I have, even when I had very little, and the ability to access peace with money, no matter what fears might come up or when, and also the creation of more and more money and resources to support all of the things I want to do and support in this world. What money mindset is not going to do is get you to face and move through your potentially big fears about doing the things that you really want to do once you do come to terms with what you really want for your lifetime. But it is going to help you see money as your supporter and your fan on the way, as your confidant, your partner who wants to support your life no matter what, if that's your choice. (laughs) And that is an invaluable perception to have. Like I said, for me, that perception has been utterly life-changing. And what money mindset also is not going to do is take the actions that you feel that you need to take on the way. And again, that's what you feel you need to take. But it is going to help you take those actions like probably 80% more easily because of the trust and inner stability that you have cultivated in your relationship with money. And this takes time. It's like if you decide you want to have a better or a different relationship with someone, that decision is the first step. Then you have to put that into practice and have experiences that deepen your choice until it's real in front of your eyes. So be patient with yourself in changing your mind about money. It's a process. But it will absolutely change your life for the better if that's what you want. And I just wanted to talk about this today because I've heard quite a few people who've done their money mindset work, have done a bunch of money mindset work, and they're now living in the result of that work. And then they try to throw it out as if it doesn't matter. And it's so easy to throw out the very gems that have brought you to a place because you're now on to the next thing. And I am so guilty of that. It's not even funny. I do that constantly, but I don't I don't want to do that anymore. Because everything counts. Everything has its place on the path and it fits together in ways that we can't fully understand. And I appreciate how all of that has come together to support me where I am. Everything gave me something so valuable that I took forward with me that enabled me to do the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. We have all been trained in the opposite ways of viewing money for the better part of our lives, which is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 or more years in viewing money as a threat and an enemy and something that is scarce and always will be scarce, something bad, something evil, something wrong, something that's all important, something that's not important, etc., etc., (laughs) etc. So yeah, Taking the time to cultivate a view of money as just another aspect or part of life that supports and nurtures you unconditionally is an investment that is worth incalculable returns, not just in terms of money, but in terms of your entire quality of being, your entire quality of living, and your entire quality of life in ways that don't don't have anything to do with money, just because of the worry and stress that so many people carry about money. So that's all I have to say about that. (laughs) And um, if you want to explore and nurture your relationship with money, my best creations for that are definitely Sun Muns, my money mindset monsters. That's the easiest, funnest, sweetest way to do it. My book, Rich in Love, also very sweet. And... If you have a lot of spiritual slash familial familial money, guilt, shame, etc., then my Peaceful Prosperity course will be helpful with that. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye.